Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Falkir County Public Schools with the uh, first edition of One Hard Question for the 2014-2015 school year. Um, every once in a while I answer two questions um, if I receive two really good questions within a week's time. And so uh, that's what I'm doing this week. I've got two good questions. One has kind of a lengthy answer, one is a very short answer. So um, here we go. This first question comes from Ann, and Ann asks the following. The American Academy of Pediatrics, Pediatrics has recommended that high schools start no earlier than 8.30. Specifically, quote, the research is clear that adolescents who get enough sleep have a reduced risk of being overweight or suffering depression, are less likely to be involved in automobile accidents, have better grades, higher standardized test scores, and an overall better quality of life. Studies have shown that delaying early school start times is one key factor that can help adolescents get the sleep they need to grow and learn. The question then is, when will Fauquier County look into adjusting the school system's schedule to accommodate this important recommendation? And she goes on to say, my kids are in elementary school, so an answer of making the change sometime in the next five to seven years would be great. Thanks, Ann. Um, here's the answer. Um, whether in terms of when will the school system look into this, they are looking into it. Um, in May, and I'll tell you what I mean. In May of last year, uh, members of school support council presented informally to the school board. And at that time, uh, the school board did weigh in uh, and shared opinions, their opinions. And they were, they were twofold, essentially. One, they are not interested in looking into this uh, for the fall of 2015. So uh, in other words, they did not feel, I tend to agree, that there was enough time to study this issue completely. And by the way, some school divisions spend years studying this issue, Fairfax being one. Uh, there wasn't enough time to study and implement it in fall of, of 2015 for lots of reasons. Uh, one, budget impact. It will impact budget uh, if, this, if this occurs. And the other impacts uh, it takes time to study it. So one, they wanted uh, more information and, and they weren't interested in fall of 2015. The second, they directed staff to survey to produce a stakeholder survey. A stakeholder survey is a survey that involves parents, teachers, and students. And um, they directed us to develop a survey while working with the School Support Council. School Support Council is the organization of uh, parents, one representative from each of the 20 schools. It's an organization of parents who I meet with monthly and we discuss issues uh, around the county involving our schools, school division, and they share concerns, ideas, etc. with me. The last year their, their, uh, their main focus was on later start times for high middle school students. So they did uh, quite a bit of study, they made presentations in each of the schools, and they, as I mentioned, uh, presented to the school board uh, this past spring. So. Um, Having said all that, that that study uh, or the looking into of this issue will continue. I suspect school support council is still going to look into it, still going to be gathering information, etc. And uh, my advice to anyone who's interested, any interested party, is if you have an opinion, if you have a thought, idea, concern, please share it with your school support council rep, because that those are the folks I meet with. Uh, share it with them. If you don't know who that rep is, it's typically the PTO president within your, your school, uh, but not necessarily so. Or you, And you can get that information. You can find out exactly who the rep is by talking to your school's principal or Judy Olson, who's the SSC chairman. But um, there's a misconception out there that somehow Dr. Jack is going to be sort of uh, you know, making the decision independently uh, of everyone. This is a school board decision about start and end times. Uh, I certainly have an opinion, but I'm open-minded about the subject, and I want to hear more as well. I want to hear more from stakeholders. I want to hear more relative to the survey we're putting out, opinions, etc. Because those who are under the impression that everyone is in favor of later start times and it's a slam dunk, and why aren't we moving forward? Uh, there is definitely a different opinion out there, and it's been shared with me many times. So there, there are differing opinions about this issue. Uh, and we've got to weigh all of those pieces before we arrive at any kind of decision. And f fact of the matter is, I'm open-minded about it, but I've not made up my mind one way or the other. So I want to learn more as well. So thank you, Ann, for that question. Next question comes from um, Greg, and Greg asked the following. He says, uh, I have daughters who attend Kettle Run High School. My one hard question is this. Why does the Commonwealth of Virginia not establish a common start and finish day 
to the school year that is consistent across all school districts. I also have a daughter who attends Loudoun High School. Loudoun High School start date is two weeks later than Fauquier, and the last day of the school year is even more than that. Uh, thank you. Appreciate your communication. Thanks. Good question, Greg. There's a very short answer to it. Uh, the, the state is never going to do that. They are never going to select a common start and, and end time because school divisions and school communities across the state would go nuts if they did. Because, and this is from my own personal experience in Virginia, uh, every school division, every school community has a different opinion, different set of values, ideas, etc., relative to when school should start and when it should end. Some school divisions are adamant about starting after Labor Day. Prince William is one, for example. Some uh, want to start as early as they can. Sometimes, and that for a couple reasons, one, schools that tend to miss a lot of days because of inclement weather, they prefer to end as, to begin early, earlier. And uh, two, it, sometimes it's driven by the high school schedule. Schools, school communities that have four by four schedules, you know, they they tend to be in favor of starting as early as possible so that they can end first semester by holiday break, winter break, and then begin second term after the first of the year. So they're they're more in favor of, of uh, you know those earlier start dates. But every school community is different. Everyone wants different things and values different things related to when when schools start and stop and that's the simple answer. I don't think the school the, the state's ever going to weigh in and, and come up with one. In Virginia is a really independent state I'm telling you what you already know very independent minded state and I, and I just don't see that ever happening and add to that the King's Dominion law which is sort of quasi related but uh, you know King's Dominion law is um, you know, requires the state requires that every school start after Labor Day unless they qualify for the waiver and most school divisions do qualify for the waiver. The waiver is tied to the number of days you miss because of inclement weather. So many school divisions, including ours, they apply for the waiver to start earlier, but it has to be um, linked to days missed. So that's called the King's Dominion Law. So anyway, um, those were two really good questions. Thank you. Keep the questions coming. I'm going to do this every week. Um, and uh, I appreciate the uh, the opportunity to answer them because it often clears up misconceptions, rumors, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, for those folks who have uh, maybe still have dial up, we do. Uh, my secretary does transcribe um, these and post them on the website. And she's going to love this one because it's seven minutes and forty seconds long now. So she'll love this this part, but she'll be okay. So anyway, have a great day and thanks for the question.